Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do face swapping without Photoshop or any photo editing software. We will do it in mid journey, but the best part is you don't even need mid journey. You can do this for absolutely free. So for this purpose, we will be using this open source package called Inside Faces. It's an open source 2D and 3D and deep face analysis library. And they have some really great projects related to computer vision and image processing. In this video, we're going to be using their face swapping technology. In this case, we're going to be using this as a plugin for mid journey, but this can also work with something like Blue Willow, which is absolutely free. Now you don't even need mid journey images. You can use your own images. And I'm going to show that at the end of the video. All right, so let me walk you through a step-by-step -step process. First, you need to go and create a new server. So click on add a server, then click on create my own. Then you need to click on for me and my friends and you simply provide a server name. In this case, uh, I already created a server this, and it's called inside face underscore server. Next, I will provide this link in the description of the video. So simply put that in your browser. You will need to select the server where you want to add the inside face bot. So in this case, I will select my inside face server, then click continue. You will simply authorize it. Next, we need to uh, bring mid journey bot to this server. I have already uh, added that, but let me show you the process. So uh, go to mid journey uh, server and then click on any of the newbies channel. Then simply cl come, click on show members list and then click on the mid journey bot. Then click on add to server. Then again, uh, select your server and click continue. Then you need to authorize it. And after authorization, this will be added to your server. Okay, just to confirm that it's added to a server. So let's uh, use the slash imagine command. And the prompt is comic book detective looking at the camera close up shot. Right, so let's create a couple of images. Okay, awesome. So this works. We want to use one of these images as our base image and then swap the face with one of our own faces. Now, in order to do that, let's just upscale some of these images. So for example, I upscaled the second and the fourth image. Let me actually do all of them. You usually want images where the character is looking straight to the camera. Okay. Next, we need to upload our image. So for this, we're going to be using the save ID command from inside face. There are uh, some other commands that you can experiment with, uh, but let's start with this basic command. Here is how it works. You type in save ID, right? Now it gives you two uh, different options. First is you need to actually upload an image. Then the second, you need to give it an ID. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to be experimenting with Elon Musk's face, uh, the reason is that it's a familiar face, so you will be able to recognize it when we swap it in these faces. But uh, be responsible with this too. So all you need to do is simply drag the image, right? And let's give it a name. So I'm going to just call it Elon. Click enter. And let's see what happens. So it says, name ID name, Elon created. Okay. Next, we need to just select one of the images. So let me experiment with uh, these two. Right click on it, come to apps, or you can go to these three dots, click on it, and then apps, and click on in swapper. All right, and let me do it for one more. So let's see uh, apps in swapper, and let's look at the results. Okay, so here we have it. And here's the original image of Elon. All right, so there is there's definitely some resemblance between the two. I think this one did a much better job because you can definitely recognize that it's in that face. Now, this is simply amazing because we were able to do this in just a couple of clicks, right? Uh, no photoshopping, nothing. Now, these were comic characters, but let's see if we can scrap it for real people. So I'm going to say um, the real uh, media photo, uh, steampunk male, close up shot, looking at the camera, All right? And let's create a few images. Okay, so here are a few uh, possible images. Now let me um, upscale a couple of them. So let's upscale the first one. Uh, maybe actually three and uh, potentially four as well. Okay. So we have our upscaled image, images. Now let's see uh, whether this is going to work. 
and not so i'm going to go back to apps click on in swapper then hey, let's do the same for this image all right and let's do the same for this image as well and let's look at the magic wow this is great because uh, this actually looks really beautiful uh there are no deformations whatsoever and this does look like an elon in, in this case you can see that the face is a little bit deformed uh, but it was an incredible job. And this one is not bad at all either. This looks good. So you might want to reload it a couple of times. But I think overall it looks pretty awesome. Here's Musk as Iron Man. That looks pretty good. It probably need a couple of more reloads. But I think it's workable. Now you might be thinking. Do you actually need Mid Journey to do this? Because Mid Journey is a paid tool. And the answer is, you actually do not need Midjourney at all. You can do this with your own images or something like uh, Blue Fellow, which is absolutely free. Next, let me show you how you can actually use your own images. So if you have some images and uh, let, let's assume I have this image that was created with Midjourney, but you can pick your own image and uh, we want to replace this person's face with Elon Musk's face. Now the way you're going to do it is that we're going to be using a different command and this command is called swap ID. The way it works is we have a list of IDs uh, that we already created so we can actually let's say go to this command and say uh, slash list ID. Actually I created a couple of IDs before. So uh, one is female one then name one Elon and then the capital Elon right. So the capital Elon is associated with uh, this image. So what I'm going to do is I will go and use the swap ID command. And here's how it works. I'm going to say swap ID, right? And then uh, I will upload the image. So we want to replace this person's face with Elon. Okay. So just click enter and let's see what happens. And voila. So here is the edited image and it, it actually looks pretty good and this is just a couple of clicks without any photoshop whatsoever right and if you are uh, careful about the images that you select you will be able to actually get much better results okay just wanted to highlight one more thing so i was testing this before and i have four different ids here right so you can actually uh, upload multiple images give them different ids and whenever you need them uh, you can use this swap id uh, with with that specific uh, id name that that you have in your list so for example uh the image associated with the female id uh, id name is this one and i was experimenting with it before this video so here is one of the famous uh paintings um that's the uh, girl with uh, pearl earring uh this is what mid journey thing is going to look like and then i replaced or swapped the face with this face and this is what the results looks like which is actually pretty close to um, this image given that she's not looking directly at the camera at certain angle but it still works pretty pretty good uh, the way the technology is moving is crazy every day we have new tools uh, and these things are getting better and better so be responsible when you are using these tools if you have any questions or comments put them in the comment sections below if you like the video consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already done so thanks for watching see you in the next one